Ladies and gentlemen, this job isn't all fun and games. Just because I'm playing with toys doesn't mean that it's all about goofing around and having fun. No, being a toy reviewer on the internet means taking bullets for you, spending my hard-earned money so you do not have to spend yours buying a piece of plastic that is ultimately just not going to be for you. So sometimes that is not apparent. You know, sometimes you pick up a toy thinking it's going to be bad and it ends up great. Sometimes you pick up a toy you had the highest hopes for and it lets you down. But then there's those toys where you know it's going to be bad, but the curiosity is just how bad is it going to be? So today I'm going to answer that curiosity because I picked up some Transformer Authentics. And not just like the small little ones and like the weird random ones. No, no, like the biggest ones they make. These big, these big old boys. These like 10-inch like ten inch, ten inch figures. And yeah, I've seen these before. I've eyeballed them once or twice and thought like, okay, um, it's 10 bucks for a toy that big. How bad is it? It's not how bad could it be. I know it's bad, but how bad is it? Is there anything redeeming to this? Is the transformation at least interesting, you know, for its size? So, you know what? Yeah, picked it up. Let's see actually what it is. This I've never actually experienced. Now, I have goofed around with a few of the authentics from the smaller size classes, but like those, but I, I like cherry picked the ones that actually felt like real Transformers. Uh, no, this is cheaper than they were and bigger than they were i've never i've not experienced this mix so if we're going to be technical this is from the authentics line but it is the titan changer megatron so if we get this i don't know why i grabbed this i'm ripping the box open all right oh Oh boy, I'm already seeing things that are kind of scary. All right, now I see why. Now, now I see why I grabbed the Exacto because he is rubber banded in. Not very well, I'll say that. All right, hang on, hang on. I got, I got no angle on this last one. Yeah, there we go. No, no, I'm not done. Oh, jeez. It's weird. It's, there's no inner tray to actually tie these two. It's folded paper, and like they're like stuck in between. Wow. Uh, this thing weighs nothing. This thing weighs absolutely nothing. So, okay, I hear all of you complaining about Oh, these Transformers are so hollow. Oh my god, like, oh my, like, they're so cheap and so hollow. Take a look. Look, look at that. Look at that, that is hollow. You see one on Generations Toy? Generations Toy is not hollow, that is hollow. That is hollow, the arms, look. Hollow! I can hear an echo in this toy. Jeez. Okay, so he's got the playability of a 90s Megazord, which I guess is the same playability as a 2000 or 2010 Megazord, now that I think of it. He's got, yeah, his he, ball socket articulation in the shoulders. That's it. That's all he's got. I mean, sculpt-wise, he doesn't look bad. And he's got the lowest amount of paint they could... And if I want to relocate his fusion cannon to a more uh, traditional spot, that's that's possible. Oh, oof. Okay, okay. The leg came loose, but that actually that's actually holding together. It looks like like almost all of the vehicle mode is in the legs, and I can see like it's got the big rollers. Look like old hair curlers. All right. Let's actually tra let me actually like attempt transforming him. Do you think I'll need the instructions? If I need the instructions to transform this thing, I, I need to retire. Like, like that just that's just it. Like 
YouTube career over. Looks like it's going to have to open up. Yep. Uh, let's see. Doesn't feel like a normal hinge. Like it's just it's because there's nothing. There's like nothing in the hips. Like it's just like one big double hinge. There we go. <laughs> I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's something for that. I don't know what. There's got to be something for that. All right. I've seen cheap Megatrons transform the same way with the arms, with the legs unfolding like that, and just. I guess I should have. I guess I need to plug the cannon in too. That probably would help. Tank's not much without a barrel. It's just a big truck. Okay, so a lot of okay, so a lot of this works the same way the Authentics toy did, where the legs unfold and become the shell of the tank. At least the smaller Authentics, because I did pick up the Megatron, and then like the same way the feet ended up on the side. So it's it's mostly sharing that transformation. I'm gonna be fr frank, like the. It's super light and super cheap feeling, but the tank does not look bad. Like, the top of the tank looks a little bit long. But beyond that, like, yeah, like, that's serviceable. Like, if I was, a, you know, like, a kid that just wants a Transformer while they're at Walgreens or something and won't shut up, that's actually not a bad idea. That's actually not bad. Yeah, that's, uh, that's passable. Now, I will admit, I got it on clearance, so it was only, like, five bucks, uh, at the real, at the full ten, I think this would be a little bit weird, but hey, not too bad, not too bad. I've seen worse. Now, I've seen worse because I got the Bumblebee too. And just looking at this thing in the box, this thing looks like it's gonna be miserable. So I've seen the authentics, like the smaller and normal sized Bumblebees, and they were the ones I actively avoided because, they're like, some of the authentics actually have a like, decent range of articulation. There's a couple that actually, like, function well as toys, you know, fun ish, function-ish. The bumblebees, for whatever reason, always looked absolutely horrible. Like, by far, by far the worst. And I have no idea why. Bumblebee is your, like, your mascot character. You're essentially the main character of Transformers these days. Your kid appeal character, the least. Why would you make it the worst one? Like, there's a Grimlock at this size too, and I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I missed out on that one. Uh, all they had were was Grimlock, and all they had was uh, Megatron and Bumblebee. But that one looked even worse, like so much worse. Well, well, well the, phrase that. This one looks worse. Bum, like the the Grimlock actually looked eh, kinda. Scrawny little Grimlock, but like maybe, like maybe, maybe I give it a pass. All right, so let's see how bad the Bumblebee came out. Excuse me as I play with a knife on air. If I realized that this had, if I realized that this was like rubber banded in, I would have grabbed. I would have grabbed scissors instead. Hang on. Almost done. I don't want to nick this toy with the X-Acto knife because I might cut through it with how thin the plastic is. Once again, super... Oh, God, oh my God. It's going to make a joke about how super light it is. And then I just got... And I just noticed how the legs were... Look at this! Look at him! He's a sheet of paper! What the... Oh my god, that's terrible. And the arm just came off. <laughs> I rotated the arm once, and that just popped straight off. Oh yeah, it really, like, there's some, there's something off in the ball joint. It really wants to pop off every time. Look, oh my god. God, look, 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 look at that. It's not, like, there isn't even a backside to his arms. It's just, like, hollow and, like, the facade of a forearm. 
Like at least, like at least, op, like at least Megatron was like okay in the sculpting. This looks terrible. Like look at, like look at, look at Bumblebee's face, which you can't see because it's like the auto, because it's not auto focusing. Because I normally turn off auto focus. He's got like creases in the side of his helmet. It makes him look like he's got like bags under his eyes. Like he's just like super tired. This is, this is like like I'm too old for this Bumblebee. Oh, sh God. I, I'm going to say, like, tactile feel is horrible on these. Uh, it feels like this is going to fall apart at any moment. God, it seriously is, like... Hang on, hang on. I gotta, I gotta... Let's see, so... At least the wheels spin. But, like, the major component... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's... There's only, like, eight pieces of plastic to this entire toy. Twelve if we include the wheels. This is ridiculous. Alright, so, I guess... I guess I fold up the front... Arm, I guess I fold up the arms to make the front of the car. And fold up the legs. Like, double hinge the legs. Ugh. That just doesn't feel right. Jeez. So, okay, again, vehicle mode. Passable. Hey, it's not using translucent plastic for the windows, so hey, that's got that going for it. No paint. Barely any paint. And again, like, super, super light. See... I go in with the expectations. Like I know it's gonna be bad. I mean, it's a it's it's a budget toy for kids. So like, how badly can I harp on it? It's not like I was expecting anything. Can it survive transforming back? Now now that's what I'm curious about. All right. So let me pop all this open again. Pop that. Get yeah. yeah just like. Yeah, the legs, like, the way the legs work, like, those accordion, like, those, like, double-fold panels are supposed to peg into things that just doesn't feel good when it does it. Yeah, and there's so much vehicle bulk hanging off of parts. There's so much collision going on. And, man, they tried so hard. They, it wasn't enough to just, like, make Bumblebee's design. They had to, like, force... The uh, the evergreen design in you can't see it because of the bright yellow, but the shoulders have the headlights sculpted in but not painted. It just look everything like the more I look at this, like the sadder it becomes. Like he looks like he's been run over. That's what it looks like. Like it look like if I if I pull him like that, he looks like a car at like a monster truck rally. <laughs> he like he's just been crushed. See like if I if I do this. That looks like that's exactly what happened. It just looks like Megatron ran him over. Jeez. I don't know what I do with this now. Like five bucks wasted. Thank you to my patrons who actually like allow me to like make stupid expenditures like this for the sake of entertainment. I hope it's entertaining. I hope. I hope that this tells people to avoid things like this. Though I guess if it's on clearance at Walgreens, it's done. I don't know if you'll uh, even be able to find these anymore. I'm sure they'll be around somewhere. I think I've seen them around for years. I just never got one. Yeah, it's... Ugh. Ugh. Plastic on a cheap toy should not creak like that. That's not pleasant. Ah, that's worse. All right. Let's make sure everything's tabbed together. All right, Megatron. I gave you a fair shake. You just there. You go. I'll give you your cannon and back. Now you. <sighs> now I figure out what to do with you too. I don't know, might just, like, throw them in the store for decoration or something. Hey, look, look, it's a Megatron just, like, chilling out. No, it's not for sale. You wouldn't want it anyway. So, don't buy the Titan Changers. Just don't. I hope, at the very least, 
If you've walked through Walgreens and saw those, if you've ever thought, hmm, I wonder how bad they could be, now you know. See, that's why I didn't do this as a review. This wasn't about review. This is about like the closest a toy reviewer can get to a reaction video, reacting to some putrid piece of plastic like that. No, avoid them. Any collector out there? No, they are for kids. They are they are super simple and super cheap for uh, very small children. That's all they're for. Do not expect anything else. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Save your hard-earned money. And by the way, go to patreon.com forward slash TJ Omega. Thank you guys for supporting. Uh, helps keep the channel alive. Cheap plug over. Uh, video over. Thank you guys for watching. Spend money carefully. Do not spend it on Titans. Uh, of course, you probably know that. But hey, at least hopefully someone's curiosity was sated. And they will not make the same mistake I intentionally made. Guys, I am facing the most powerful enemy any YouTuber can face, the algorithm, and I need your help to defeat him. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Every time you do, we attack that algorithm and we drive it back until it can no longer defeat this channel. Thank you very much.